Hello YouTubers, this is Keith Johnson. I want to thank you all for tuning in for another video. Um, I want to talk today uh, about mindset, okay? Mindset. Mindset is an important thing in life because it dictates the type of person you're going to be. There are people who have a mindset who just want to work a job, 9 to 5. They want to go to school, get a job, work to their 65 years old, retire, find out that their money isn't enough to sustain their living expenses, so then they get right back to work again for another 10, 20 years until they die of old age. That's a mindset. Then you have a mindset of someone who wants to build a business, who wants to be an investor, who wants to believe in themselves. They're visionaries. They see things before it even happens, and they see, well, what am I going to do to get from point A to point B? And if it's something I got to buy, I got to buy it. If it's something I need, I need, you know what I'm saying, to get me to that next step. Mindset of someone who is an entrepreneur is different than someone who works a job. An entrepreneur, those characteristics I just shared with you just now. And see, I would label myself as an entrepreneur, as a visionary, okay? Now, I had a job mentality before I transitioned into um, someone who was an investor or an entrepreneur. So I know both sides of the fence. I know that <clears throat> a job mentality person goes by the books and they follow orders, okay? And when you work a job, which stands for just over broke, you're working for the man or the woman, and they're not gonna, you're not gonna be rich working for someone else. We know that, okay? Now those, there are those of us who are blessed to be at an organization, a company, and work our way up the corporate ladder and have a successful income but that's not what I'm talking about if that's your goal then that's fine but for a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners I believe our goal is not just financially uh, t you know just to reach financial freedom but yeah freedom that's what I was gonna say financial and then the freedom that goes with it we want to be able to do what we want when we want how how we want where we want with whomever we want and um, we don't want to be bounded by the restrictions of day-to-day -day life. We don't want to get up, brush our teeth, get dressed, deal with an hour of traffic to work, deal with the drama and stress of our coworkers and a boss while we're there for the four or eight hours in our lunch breaks <clears throat> that really aren't enough. <laughs> then get back in the car, deal with an hour of traffic back home just so we can um, do homework with our kids, take a bath, go to bed, get up and do it all over again. We want our lives to be able be an adventure. We want to be able to travel. We want to be able to explore uh, new activities. We want to be able to have our friends come along for that ride. You know, we want our friends to have freedom, you know, and I, I, I see this a lot when I'm trying to schedule events with my friends, even if it's just a day out in the movies. It's so hard to do that because people are restricted. They have to work. They have to work. And so I really hate that, you know what I'm saying? But we need jobs to stimulate our economy. But so it's not all bad, but me personally, as an internet marketer, I love. I would love to work with someone who shares the same vision and passion that I do of getting not only financially free, but just getting free. Period. You know, firing your boss. You know, going to work and saying, you know what, boss, you're fired. You know, <laughs> I'm done. I'm sick of this, son. And then take a trash bag or a trash basket and kick it up in the air and say, I'm done, son. <laughs> You ain't gonna do me like this anymore, you know. And so that's the type of um, well, no, that's a little bit over dramatic. I'm not looking for people to act ratchet, <laughs> but I am looking for people who definitely respect what I'm saying about the life that I'm trying to achieve, and they want that life for themselves, and they're willing to do what's necessary to get there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the, the, you know, this conversation went on a little bit of a different road, but. Uh, the whole thing is mentality wrapping it back around a mentality you have to have the mentality that you not only want to stay in a seven bedroom four bath house and a two car garage two car garage but you're willing to do the work necessary to achieve that type of lifestyle a lot of people get enthusiastic in this culture when they when they talk about their dream car or their dream lifestyle but they get real quiet when you tell them about the test that they got to to take to get licensed to do some of these careers they got to do to get to the seven bedroom four bath house or whatever that they're trying to get and I tell people all the time is you know how it's a mental thing you know how it's a mentality thing and I'll tell you why you know it's a mentality thing because it's not about the money because you know why it's never about the money 
Okay, I'll tell you this, because if it was about the money, everybody watching this video would be a doctor making six figures a year, $100,000, $200,000 a year as a plastic surgeon somewhere in some LA hospital, living it up. That's a lucrative career, that's a lucrative job, a high paying job, or a lawyer. <coughs> but the fact is, a lot of people aren't doctors or lawyers making that type of money not because people don't have the potential it's because perhaps people don't believe in themselves nor or they don't want to do the work necessary to get to that type of six figure seven figure salary that they would love to get and then they then what i like what i see a lot is people get jealous or envious of people who are rich or their friends that they had in high school that are now uh, when they revisit them in reunions or whatever or they see them out and about that they moved on they got high paying careers and they're still stuck at a lousy job and they're mad and I'm like why are you mad when you had the same opportunity nine times out of ten we have the same if we live in America we have the same opportunity and and we're not even talking about race we're not even going to talk about that but we're just talking about you have the same opportunity to do what your friends are doing but you decided you want to do this and someone gave you an opportunity you said you could have do this this that you could have been a sales rep for an awesome company you could have invented something that could have changed the world you could have bought stock in Facebook when it was brand new you could have joined a network marketing company and built a six-figure salary but a lot of people are saying no and they're and 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 the poor and they're poor and um, what I like about poor if you break it down poor stands for passing over opportunities repeatedly that's what it means. People are just over broke on these jobs and then when you try to offer them something better, they're passing over opportunities repeatedly. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. It costs money. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. It must be a scam. So, <laughs> I just wanted to, 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 to talk, tell you guys that it's not about the money. It's a mentality thing. And what are you willing to sacrifice to get to where you want to go? And if you want to work a job, I'm not saying that's wrong. We need jobs to stimulate our economy. We need people to uh, get us french fries and burgers and to pump our gas and to fix our computers. We need people to do that stuff. But what I'm saying is if you if you are done with living a job lifestyle and you've done, you've had enough. You did that when you was a kid, time to move on, evolve into something greater. If you want to own a business or if you want to create a product, if you want to join a network marketing company or something, then just open your mind. Open your mind to possibility. And if you fall down, who cares? Get back up again. As long as you are trying and you never give up, you'll never lose. And I like that. And I think I want to call my team from now on moving forward, NGU. Never give up. So for those of y'all who like what I share with you tonight, subscribe to my video, leave a comment below. I welcome you all. If anyone's interested in joining NGU, I will create a Facebook group titled NGU and it will be all of my friends um, who have joined me in all my programs um, under one roof. And uh, we're going to we're going to start an NGU movement. And so I'm so excited <laughs> that that term was birthed on this video. So uh, NGU. So here we go. So uh, definitely subscribe, leave a comment below. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. NGU for life.